there's metal contact going on there. This Ragnarok combo's busted too! Oh! What's up, Beyblade people? Today we are going to be making the ultimate Ragnarok combo. Now, Takara told me just to release this guy right here, and he is gorgeous. Here is Glide Ragnarok, the brand new Sparking Ragnarok. Now, like all the other Sparking Beyblades, this guy does not disappoint. It comes with some really cool parts. It comes with the wheel disc, which is amazing. It's actually the heaviest disc that Takara told me has ever released for Burst, and it's probably going to be super competitive because it's extremely heavy, and the weight distribution is crazy good for stamina. Now, uh, some things that are disappointing about this Beyblade is that they released the Revolve Driver on it for some reason. They didn't give it a unique, interesting driver. And uh, the layer, although it is very round and it's somewhat heavy, it doesn't have very good burst resistance, which kind of sucks. Anyway, so yeah, today we are making the ultimate Ragnarok combo to commemorate the new Ragnarok release. Let's just get started. We're going to start off with the dual layer Ragnarok, Rising Ragnarok. Now, there is a single layer Ragnarok, but I don't actually have it because mine broke a while back. Although, uh, the single layer Ragnarok, its parts wouldn't really contribute to the ultimate combo just because it was one of the first four burst bays to be released, and none of its parts really stand up to the meta now. Anyway, let's get started with Rising Ragnarok. Here is Rising Ragnarok. Here's the layer. The layer sucks. Not gonna use that for the ultimate combo. Here's the disc. Gravity. Gravity was amazing back in the day. Now it sucks. Not gonna use that for the combo. And here is the driver, the final part of Rising Ragnarok. Now the driver is uh, the Revolve Driver, and surprisingly, the Revolve Driver still kind of holds up to today. It's not the best stamina type driver in the game. I would say that's probably Bearing or maybe Eternal. No, it's Bearing. Bearing is probably the best. But this guy, it's it's still like pretty up there. It's it's not, it's definitely like a high tier stamina type driver, which is fairly interesting. It's so good that they actually released it on the new Ragnarok. So yeah, we're gonna put that guy right there. We might use that on the ultimate Ragnarok combo. Next up we have to what I believe is the only good Ragnarok for its time. I know Ragnarok being good, that that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, the only good Ragnarok for its time, in my opinion, is definitely Blaze Ragnarok. This thing, although it wasn't the best Beyblade in the God series, it was definitely one of the most solid ones. So yeah, let's get started with the layer. The layer is extremely round, and unlike the Ragnaroks before it, it actually had some pretty solid teeth. The teeth on this thing were crazy good and again for a Ragnarok that's amazing because Ragnaroks are known to burst like crazy and yeah overall the layer was pretty good but I don't think it really holds up to the GT Chosy and uh, sparking layers just because it doesn't have any metal on it and it is fairly small compared to the newer releases let me just compare it to uh, the brand new glide Ragnarok look oh my oh my goodness look at that oh it's humongous when you compare blaze Ragnarok to glide Ragnarok Ragnarok, it's not even a question. Blaze Ragnarok's not gonna stand a chance, so we're not gonna be using Blaze Ragnarok on the ultimate Ragnarok combo, although it was really good for its time. Uh, next up, we have the disc. The disc that released on Blaze Ragnarok is the four cross disc, and surprisingly, the four cross disc, just like the Revolve Driver, still somewhat holds up in the meta. It's definitely not one of the best discs in the game, but I think it is a fairly solid disc. Uh, the cross disc does have decent life after death, and the four disc is... Um, it's not super heavy, but it's not super light. I would say it's like a mid-tier disc weight distribution wise So yeah, I mean we might use this guy in the ultimate combo So we're gonna put him right there and then finally we have the flugel driver and the flugel driver sucks You know, what? I'm kind of happy that we got revolve on the new Ragnarok because at least we didn't get flugel, you know All right next up. Let's move on to the chosy version of Ragnarok next we have crash Ragnarok and in my opinion, this is probably one of the worst Ragnaroks to be released. At least with the other Ragnaroks, the parts were okay. Like, uh, for instance, the single layer Ragnarok and the dual layer Ragnarok, it was released with fairly solid parts. It came with gravity, heavy, two extremely heavy discs for their time, and revolve and survive. Very good stamina type drivers for their time. This Ragnarok, its parts are horrible. <laughs> uh, let's first start off with the layer. Now, the layer is probably the best part about this Beyblade. It's not amazing. The teeth are actually quite weak, especially compared to the Ragnarok before it 
glazed Ragnarok, but it is fairly round and it's definitely a lot chunkier than uh, Blaze Ragnarok. It's a lot bigger than Blaze Ragnarok and it does have metal on it, which definitely helps with weight. It has metal wings. Oh my god, that, that, that's so cool. That's amazing. So yeah, overall, uh, the layer's not horrible, but it does struggle with burst resistance. So I mean, I'm going to put it back here just in case. Next up, we're on to the horrible parts. It comes with 11 Reach. Reach. I mean, Reach is like an okay frame. It's not amazing. It's not It's not horrible, but you know, the disc on this thing is it's horrendous. It comes with the 11 disc. I think it's like one of the lightest discs in the game. Originally released on Achilles. Fairly bad. And then finally, it comes with the wedge driver and the wedge driver. I don't even like talking about the wedge driver. It's just like I mean, I like the color scheme. It's a cool idea. It comes with metal, and metal has, like, less friction than plastic, so supposedly it's supposed to give the Beyblade more stamina, but it just doesn't work that way because it makes the Beyblade extremely off-balance. I don't think we're going to be using any parts from Crash Ragnarok. I mean, maybe we'll use the layer. I, I'll put this guy over there. The wedge isn't horrible. It's not uh, super bad, but again, it's definitely not amazing. I think it's like below average driver. All right, finally moving on to uh, the recent Ragnarok release. Of course, we have Glide Ragnarok, and this thing is so good. And... <laughs> It's so good that I think the ultimate Ragnarok combo, if I was being truthful, to make the Ragnarok with the best parts, I think it's just stock Glide Ragnarok. That's just how good Glide Ragnarok stock parts are. Let's start off with the layer. The layer is, of course, extremely heavy compared to all the other Ragnaroks. It's extremely heavy. It has the most amount of metal. It's the roundest, and it's probably the best layer uh, to be released for a Ragnarok. Next up, we have the disc, and like I was talking about before, the disc is the heaviest disc in the game. The wheel disc is insane, and it has amazing stamina because of its weight distribution. And finally, we have the driver. We already talked about this guy. This is the Revolve driver. We talked about it on Rising Ragnarok, and again, it's not the best stamina type driver in the game, but I will say it's one of the best stamina type drivers in the game. Alright, so yeah, now moving on to the combo creation. Now, if we were trying to make the best combo it's basically it's it's just it's just stock glide ragnarok but that's no fun so i'm gonna limit myself to one part per uh ragnarok so yeah oh which oh my goodness that's kind of hard though which part from glide ragnarok would be the most beneficial for this combo i don't think the driver like we're gonna take the driver up because although revolves amazing i feel like these two help the combo way more uh the layer and the disc the disc is so good and the layer's not amazing Amazing, but when you compare the Glide Ragnarok layer to all the other Ragnarok layers, oh my goodness, it's so much better than all the other Ragnarok layers that I don't, oh my, but the wheel, the wheel disc is so good as well. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna make two combos, all right? We're gonna make two combos and we'll test both combos in the stadium. Uh, for the first combo, I guess we'll use uh, the new Glide Ragnarok. We'll use four cross because I think that's the second best disc besides uh, the wheel disc and then finally for the driver we are going to use the wedge driver just because I feel like if we use the revolve driver it's just gonna be like glide Ragnarok but you change the disc out and that's no fun so this is our first combo it's going to be glide Ragnarok four cross wedge and our second combo is going to be crash Ragnarok wheel revolve even though this is kind of like a uh, stock glide ragnarok with a different uh layer i feel like because we're using like rising ragnarok's driver it's kind of it's kind of different you know anyway let's test both of these combos out in the stadium let's see which uh which ragnarok combo is better the one with glide ragnarok or the one with crash ragnarok so yeah let's go to the stadium and test these guys out all right, which combo should we do first? I kind of want to do this one first because it looks prettier. So we're going to start off with Glide Ragnarok for Cross Wedge. Okay, which Beyblade should we put it against first? Actually, of course, we're going to go with Heaven Pegasus. We always got to start off against Heaven Pegasus because Heaven Pegasus is so bad that it makes the uh, the combo that we're using seem good, even if it's not. Three, two, one, just shoot. Three, two, one, 
go. Shoot. There are both stamina type Beyblades in the stadium. One of them doesn't really look like a stamina type. What are you doing, Ultimate Ragnarok combo? It's kind of cool though. Oh, I just love the way that Glide Ragnarok looks when it spins. It's just like a really nice orange color scheme with the with the silver in the middle, and I think it looks amazing. Anyway, it looks like uh, the Ultimate Ragnarok combo was able to beat uh, Heaven Pegasus and stamina, so that's fairly good. Next up, I kind of want to try it against an attack type, so we're gonna go with uh, Storm Pegasus. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. There is the ultimate Ragnarok combo versus Storm Pegasus. Storm Pegasus getting some solid hits, but the ultimate Ragnarok combo actually having decent burst resistance. Whoa, Ragnarok's not bursting. This is crazy. Oh, I say that, but then it lost because the wedge driver is so bad that it made the Beyblade scrape. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right. Oh, no, that's not very good. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, there we go. Let's see. Um, I just love the quick driver. The quick driver is just so fun to watch, and it's not uh, extremely hard to control like the extreme driver, ironically. But yeah, quick is like a nice in between of like hunter and extreme. It's my favorite attack type driver, in my opinion. Anyway, it looks like this time Ragnarok was able to defeat Storm Pegasus. Overall, the ultimate Ragnarok combo is not doing too bad. Like I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how this Ragnarok combo does because this one. I thought was gonna do bad, but it's 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 doing fairly well. Next, let's test it against Valkyrie. Oh my gosh, this battle's actually kind of iconic. It's the first battle that happened, the Beyblade versus anime. It's Volt versus Brantaro. And we're gonna get like the new Valkyrie soon. Oh, Brave Valkyrie's gonna be amazing. It has rubber, it's so beautiful. I love the yellow. Okay, let's get this battle started before I ramble on some more. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, GT Valkyrie versus Ragnarok. Valkyrie, you're never gonna hit Ragnarok if you go around it. To win, you have to hit the Beyblade, you know? Anyway, solid hits from Valkyrie, but it looks like Ragnarok is able to take it. Holy moly, what is this Beyblade? This is not Ragnarok. The Ragnarok kind of bursts all the time. What are you doing? You haven't burst once this whole entire video. 3, 2, 1, shoot. 3, 2, 1, shoot. All right, Slash Valkyrie. We're gonna do that again, because Slash Valkyrie just sucks. 3, 2, 1, shoot. 3, 2, 1, shoot. Right. Oh! Oh! I I thought Rag or, uh, Valkyrie burst Ragnarok, but apparently it was a double burst. That was actually kind of scary. Oh my goodness! Next, I want to use Union Achilles. Now I ranked this guy in uh, high A tier on my Beyblade burst uh, GT tier list, and a lot of people got mad. But I'm gonna show you. It's gonna destroy the ultimate Ragnarok combo, and you're gonna be surprised because Achilles, although people think it's bad, it's actually really good. Three, two, one, shoot! Ragnarok. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Achilles. Let's see how Achilles does against the ultimate Ragnarok combo. Is Achilles gonna lose? It's gonna prove me wrong. This is the one time Achilles isn't gonna be able to defeat an ultimate combo, and it's gonna be against a Ragnarok. If if it Achilles. Okay, maybe Achilles is bad. Maybe I ranked him wrong on my GT tier list. What did I do, guys? All right, so this combo is actually like surprisingly really solid. So again, what's this combo gonna be like? I want to see if this combo can beat Achilles. We're gonna test this ultimate Ragnarok combo, ultimate Ragnarok combo version two against Union Achilles. And if it beats or if it loses to Union Achilles, then I guess this Ragnarok combo is the better one. Three. Oh, it's so small and compact. Like, look at that. It's adorable. Shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, there we go. Oh, do you hear that metal contact? There's metal contact going on there. This Ragnarok combo's busted too. Oh, I spoke too soon. I forgot that it was a Ragnarok combo. It bursts. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Achilles, although it seems fairly underwhelming because of the convert disc, it's actually fairly powerful. I'm gonna keep using this combo for a little bit, and then maybe if it loses some more, then we'll move on to the better one. Let's do Bushin Ash- No, I don't want to use- What am I saying? Bushin Ashura, disgusting. I, I do not like that Beyblade. Let's go with Prime Apocalypse. This guy is evil. Watch out. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, ultimate Ragnarok combo version two, and there is- Oh! 
<laughs> yeah, Ultimate Ragnarok combo version 2 sucks. We're not going to be using that one anymore. It literally got destroyed by Prime Apocalypse. It got one shot by Prime Apocalypse. You know what? I feel like I might have ranked the Beyblades wrong. I'm sorry for everyone that watched the, the ranking all GT Beyblades. Prime Apocalypse should be higher, and uh, Union Achilles should be lower. What can I say? All right, let's see how the actual Ultimate Ragnarok combo does against Prime Apocalypse. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, is Prime Apocalypse gonna be able to defeat both Ultimate Ragnarok combos? It's getting crazy hits! Oh! And it first Ragnarok! Oh no! 3, 2, 1, go shoot! 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Alright, both Beyblades are in the stadium. Prime Apocalypse getting some solid hits, but Ragnarok eating those hits up, but also scraping at the same time. And in the end, Prime Apocalypse was able to win with a survivor finish. Those were like killer hits. Every hit had like so much impact. It had so much impact that it made Ragnarok lose enough stamina to lose in a stamina battle, even though it's a stamina type Beyblade. Let's test it out against Big Bang Genesis. Three, two, one, go. Shoot! Ultimate Ragnarok combo, and there is Big Bang Genesis. Who is gonna win this one? The virtually unburstable Beyblade or the Ultimate Ragnarok combo? I think the Ultimate Ragnarok combo is gonna win this one. I say that, and now Ragnarok circling a Big Bang Genesis going really close to the stadium floor, or getting really close to the stadium floor. It's almost about to scrape and lose. But no, in the end, Ragnarok beat Big Bang Genesis. 3, 2, 1, 2. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Alright, both Beyblades are in the stadium. Let's see how Ragnarok does against Big Bang Genesis now. Watch the ultimate Ragnarok combo burst Big Bang Genesis. That that would be like insane. That'd be crazy. Do it, Ragnarok. I want to see it. That'd be so awesome. But I don't think it's going to happen. I've only actually seen Big Bang Genesis burst once which was very surprising. Anyway, Ragnarok was able to win with the survivor finish once more. All right, let's do one more GT Beyblade. Here we have one of my favorite GT Beyblades. It is Imperial Dragon with the Ignition Dash Driver. I remember the name this time. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, both Beyblades in the stadium. Let's see how Imperial Dragon does this time. And he misses its first hit. Ragnarok might, might be able to win this one through stamina, but you never know. Uh, Imperial Dragon could get a surprise burst. Oh, and there is the surprise burst. That was really cool, though. That was amazing. The ignition driver, like, activated, and it was able to get a super hard hit on Ragnarok and burst him. That was pretty cool. All right, uh, let's move on to the Sparking Beyblades now. We have King Helios, and then we have Super Hyperion. I think Super Hyperion's the better one, so we're gonna go with... King Helios first. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Alright, there we go, both Beyblades. King Helios is literally so fun to use because the zone driver is like so interesting. It does these crazy counter attacks and it's amazing. Sadly, in this battle, we haven't, we don't really see the zone driver to its full potential. I take it back. Did you see that counter attack? That was amazing. The zone driver is awesome. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be a spin steal life after death battle. And of course, if it's a life after death battle, Wedge is not going to cut it. Wedge is going to lose every single life after death battle. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. All right, both Beyblades in the stadium. Let's see the zone driver do an amazing counter attack again. That was kind of cool. It kind of like swiveled around Ragnarok. Uh, it looks like this battle is going to be very similar to the last one. It's going to be spin steal life after death. That's usually what happens when you're reversing opposite spin Beyblades, and it's 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 really boring. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Ragnarok's going to lose this because Wedge has no life after death at all. And there goes Wedge. <laughs> Enough with those boring battles. Let's move on to some same spin battles. We're going to go with Super Hyperion with the Exceed Driver. This driver is so fun to use. Three, two, one, two, shoot. Three, two, one, two. Oh my god! No! Oh! And Super Hyperion. Oh, I don't want to touch it. It's just. Ow! It hurts. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Alright, there's both Beyblades. Super Hyperion is crazy! Oh, he, it was overkill. That was overkill. No wonder I thought like Ragnarok had horrible burst resistance. I feel like Glide Ragnarok has decent burst resistance. It's just that everyone's putting it up against Super Hyperion and Super Hyperion has a crazy attack power. So of course it's going to be able to burst Ragnarok. It's probably going to be able to burst like any Beyblade. I want to put this guy against Lord Spurgeon. See how he does against Lord Spurgeon because Lord Spurgeon has one of the best burst resistance in the game. And this guy, maybe he can... Uh, 
Uh, maybe he can burst Lord Spriggan. That'd be crazy. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh my goodness. This Beyblade is wild. Oh, solid hits. Did you see those hits? Those are insane. They're insane. Okay, but it looks like Super Hyperion has run out of stamina, and the ultimate Ragnarok combo was able to gain a victory against Super Hyperion. That's fairly impressive. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. All right, let's see how... All right, it looks like Ragnarok was able to hit Super Hyperion out of its flower pattern, but you know what? You never know with Super Hyperion. One strong hit and you're dead. Your, your Beyblades burst. Uh, so yeah, let's see who's gonna win this one. Is it going to be the ultimate Ragnarok combo or is it gonna be Super Hyperion? Ooh, um, I, I really hope it is the ultimate Ragnarok combo, but again with these attack types you never know it's two solid hits and Super Hyperion almost won that one. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, and both Beyblades are in the stadium. Please, Ragnarok, please beat Super Hyperion. Super Hyperion is missing all of its attacks, but no. Just one good attack, and Super Hyperion is able to defeat the ultimate Ragnarok combo. So yeah, that was my uh, ultimate Ragnarok video. Overall, this combo did a lot better than I thought it would. Like, when you think of taking all Ragnaroks and making the best combo out of all the parts, you don't really think it's gonna do that well, because, well, to be honest, every Ragnarok sucks. But yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. This combo was surprisingly good. Left first out.